Do you need to convert several MIDI tracks to audio tracks? In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and simple way to convert all of them at the same time. Welcome to the Band Guide. I'm your band guy, Colin. Let's make it happen. Before we get started, there's a couple important and weird ways that effects can be converted in this process. I'll go over all of these at the end of this video and explain and show you how you can tell which effects will be processed. That way you don't have to worry about is this reverb going to be converted or is this delay going to be converted. You'll be able to tell before you even convert the tracks. Let's go and dive in. So I made just a quick example by just stacking a few loops on top of each other. Just simple, just a few loops. To start, we need to open our configure track header. To bring up that menu, you just right click with either two fingers on the trackpad or you can hold control on the keyboard and click on the trackpad and hit configure track header. This will configure the track header, which is these options here for all of your channels. So we wanna turn on track lock. That just shows us this option here. So now that's on on every channel. And all we're gonna do is turn this on for all of the tracks that we want to convert from MIDI or drummer even, or actually you can do this with audio files even, and this will convert them into a processed version. Once we've turned that track lock on, all we have to do is hit spacebar, and that's gonna freeze all of those tracks. It takes a few seconds. The more tracks you have, the longer it will take. In this case, we just had a few. So we need to now go and find those in the finder. So go locate your session. So I have our session here, and we're gonna right click on this again. So just right click, same way as before, two fingers on the trackpad or control click, and then go down to show package contents, media, freeze files. Now this is gonna be all those tracks in order. So no matter what session you're working in, it will be in the order that you've listed them when you freeze them. So I know that this is going to be the lead synth, marimba, down here we have the lush pad, and then we have drums. Okay, now you don't wanna leave these in this folder. You wanna leave them there, but you wanna also copy them out. That's because this is a workaround. This is just frozen tracks, so if you were to unlock those tracks, they would go back to normal. Or if you wanna change something, they would go back to normal. So if you wanna be able to use these and not worry about that, Go ahead and copy them into a new folder. We wanna go ahead and quit our session. We can save it. All right, now we have these here. I'm gonna go ahead and drag them over. I'm gonna option and click and drag so it copies them. And then bam, they're over in this other folder. Super quick, super easy. Now if I open that session back up, we can go in and just drag these audio files in, and now simple. So we have all those files. Now notice that it does process the tails and it starts them all right at the beginning. I mentioned earlier that there are a couple important and weird considerations for which effects will and won't be processed. Before I jump into that, there's two things to know about how effects are happening in GarageBand. You can either have effects on a channel or you can have effects on what's called a send. A send is just simply sending a signal from your track to another track and the only thing happening on that track is the effect. When I'm talking about effects here, I'm really talking about reverb and delay primarily. So GarageBand has built in four effect sends that it has standard. You have your master echo and your master reverb those are effects sends. So that reverb and that echo are not actually happening on your individual track. You also have an ambiance knob and a reverb knob. You can see that here, ambiance knob, reverb knob. They're also on the smart control window for audio files. That is two more effects sends. So in total, all GarageBand files have four effects sends automatically built in. Now, those four effects sends will never be printed but any effects that are put directly in your plugin chain will be printed. So let's say this marimba, it comes with this tape delay on it, and this knob here is actually affecting this tape delay. 
So this track, when I export that out, if I have the delay on, that, that delay will be processed on this track. One way to tell that is if you right click on a knob and edit effect comes up, if I were to select this, it takes me over to the master track. That tells me that that is an effect send and not an effect on the channel. So going back over to our marimba here, if I go to ambiance, same thing. But then if I go to try it on delay, if I right click on that, you can't tell this, but nothing is happening. Same with chorus, because I do actually have a chorus set up on here. So if you right click on it and edit effect doesn't come up, then that means that that effect is somewhere on your channel. One, exa one other example of this to be aware of is this reverb knob on some alchemy sense. So you can see that there's no reverb in here anywhere in my plugin chain. So initially you would think there's not gonna be any reverb printed on this track, but Alchemy actually has reverb built into Alchemy itself. That's this plugin up here, and that's what's giving us a synth sound. So if you right click on it, it will tell you, hey, this isn't going to be sent out to a synth, so this reverb will be processed on this track. And that's it. Super fast and easy way to convert all of your MIDI tracks to audio tracks at the same time. Now I recommend doing this before you start mixing. It helps you shift out of song writing mode where you're editing your MIDI parts to mixing mode. And that helps you get a more professional sounding mix because you're focused on the mix and don't have a foot in both songwriting and mixing. If you're serious about stepping up your mixes and getting more professional sounding mixes, I wanna give you something. I have a free six step checklist. The link is in the description below. You can download that, it's completely free, and it walks you through the six steps to professional mix and how you can do all of them in GarageBand. Completely free, link is in the description below. And if this video is helpful for you, be sure to subscribe. I'm back every single week with brand new pro-level audio training for GarageBand. We'll see you soon. One thing at a time, I can only handle